Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Valorant, where the Valorant is causing you or giving you a blue screen of death as soon as you launch the game. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. In the basic step, right click on Valorant and choose the option properties. Here, under the shortcut tab, you choose the option under the run option from the drop down list, choose as minimize. Nextly, hit compatibility tab. And here check mark these particular two options disable full screen optimization and as well as run this program as an administrator once it is done hit apply ok button and try to play the game nextly is if you have installed any third party antivirus such as avast avg mcafee don't forget to disable it because it is a major cause for the bsod if this method failed to work out in next step click on the start menu and type Windows security to open it. Now here click on the option firewall and network protection. Now here click on allow an app to firewall. Click on the option change settings and click on the option allow another app. Here you need to browse the path of the Valorant files which is available by clicking on the browse button. This PC, C drive, Roid games, Valorant, live, and here it is Valorant file. Double click to open it. Once chosen, click on the option add. Same way, you need to add the second application by again clicking on the browse option. This time, in this particular folder, Roet client and Roet client services. And third one is C drive, program files, Roet Vanguard and VGC. You need to add these three applications one by one and then hit the add option. Once chosen, make sure you check mark both the options, private as well as public. Then hit the OK button. Now nextly is, if you are still getting BSOD, make sure if your BIOS is out of date, make sure you update it from the manufacturer website. Now let's proceed with the third step. In next step, you need to disable VBS, which is virtualization based security. Head over to settings menu, click on the option apps, Click on the option optional features, scroll down and click on the option more windows features. Here you need to find few programs. First one is virtual machine platform. So I have pressed the V key and here you will find two programs virtual machine platform as well as hypervisor platform. Make sure you uncheck these two options one by one. And nextly is Microsoft application card. So I will press the M key to find Microsoft Defender Application Guard. So make sure if this particular option is check marked, you should uncheck it. Once it is done, hit the OK button. It may ask you to restart your PC, so don't forget to restart before launching the game and then play the Valorant to fix out Valorant blue screen issues. If this method failed, in next step, right click on start menu and choose the option run. Type here percent local app data percent and hit the enter key. Here find Provide games folder and open it. Whatever the folder present right over here, select all of them, right click and choose the option delete. Now don't forget to restart your PC. After restarting, play the game to fix out Valorant blue screen. If this method also failed, in next step we are going to do a clean installation of Valorant. So open up your browser and here is the link which I will provide you in the description of this video. You need to download Revo on installer freeware. Choose the option portable version, save it into your system, once it is saved, unzip the file present inside it, open the folder and right click on driver you port and choose the option run as administrator. Now here find Valorant processes. Here it is, one is Valorant and second is Roet Vanguard. You need to uninstall both programs one by one by selecting each program and choose the option uninstall. Click on the option continue. Now once it is done, this scan option will be highlighted. So again click on it to find the remaining registries and folders present in your PC. Now click on the option select all and click on option delete. 
was deleted in your next step make sure you select valorant also and click on the option uninstall to completely uninstall valorant from your system after uninstalling go ahead re-download it from the official website of the valorant to fix out the issue if this method also failed nextly we do a tweak to fix the issues from your windows click on the start menu and type cmd run cmd as an administrator type here a command sfc space slash scan now and hit the enter key wait for this command to finish Once this command is completed, now type another command dism space online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health and then hit the enter key again. Again, wait for this command to finish and once both the commands are completed, don't forget to restart your PC and this will completely fix out the issue of Valorant giving you a blue screen of death. And lastly is all the method fails. Head over to settings menu, scroll down and click on the option recovery. Click on the option reset this PC. Choose the option keep my files so that it will not delete any of your files or folders. Click on the option local reinstall. Now click on the next button. Now once you hit the reset option, this process will take up to 30 minutes and it will completely uninstall the applications that you have installed in your system. But it will not delete any file or folder of yours. So once you proceed, after 30 minutes, you need to reinstall Valorant and other applications that you have installed in your PC. And once it is done, you can easily play Valorant without any kind of blue screen of death. So this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.